I think uh, when people are saying, I don't need any more math than arithmetic, they're looking at one kind of math, which is sort of shopkeeper math, and maybe they've had enough to be a shopkeeper. When you're looking at people who are innovators and driving the future of the economy, they're looking at math as a toolkit that allows you to do new science, engineering, and innovation. And that's not about adding numbers. You know, many parents and people have some images of what technology could bring, and they think it's fun, or it's engaging, or it's games, and all those things are nice. But really, what the research has shown is some deeper reasons that we should use technology. And one is the ability to bring concepts to life. When you can put the concepts in a digital, interactive, often dynamic or animated form, students are much more able to really understand mathematical concepts. And when they understand the concepts, they perform much better. Part of math literacy is really graphing literacy, because one of the representations that you see in newspapers and every day is graphs. Part of it is being able to read tables and not just see them as piles of numbers, but see mathematical relationships in the tables. Part of it is being able to, to look at formulas and algebra and make some sense of that, and then to relate that to the events you're trying to explain or predict and that's the storytelling. So what SimCalc really aims to do is connect these things in the experience of the students and the teacher. The space between the dots get bigger? The space between the dots get bigger, what do you mean? Um, it like skips, I don't know. It doesn't between the one, the, the line is... Hold on, one more time, Carson, finish your thought, go ahead. The like, dots are closer, and then once it gets there, so you can Math is about, both about being able to express yourself, to communicate ideas, but it's also about, you know, part of communicating, you know, uh, ideas. So if, if you're going to understand issues like interest rate, you need to be able to read mathematics, right? You need to be able to understand it as a language. <laughs> Well, Cognitive Tutors grew out of past research in cognitive science, and that research was on how people learn, sort of understanding how the brain works, but also on um, how we can get technologies to uh, essentially simulate student learning. While it is an advanced technology and it's tutoring students in a one-on-one -on -one way, like a human tutor does, it's not replacing the teacher. Uh, so uh, it has this function of being able to zero in on those needs that a student has. Where are they struggling? And what do they not know? And gives instruction just on that. That's the technology component, but it's also embedded in a full classroom. So two days a week, students are using this technology typically. And those other three days a week, they're in a regular classroom. Um, the materials are designed to help students appreciate why algebra is important by connecting them to real world problem solving. But what's nice is in the computer lab, those kids that are somewhat falling behind, they're not left behind. They get help where they need it. Those kids that are racing ahead, they're being challenged. They're doing things that are inter interesting. So we found that it's not just about mathematical achievement and getting the concepts. It's also more engaging for students because they feel like they're, they're really making progress. They're, being, they're having success experiences. And the harder they work, the, the better they do.